Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll discuss about uh, built-in functions in R programming. So in our previous sessions, we have already discussed about the introduction to functions and uh, user-defined functions. So the syntax of user-defined functions and also we have seen how, how many ways we can pass the arguments from function call to function definition. So R programming have uh, many number of built-in functions related to mathematical formulas or character related functions and statistical functions etc so in this session we'll see the mathematical functions so these are all the built-in functions so we need not write the code explicitly so we can make use of the existing functions so now we'll see the math functions all the mathematical functions the first one is absolute function so absolute function the syntax is abs of a variable or expression so it gives absolute value absolute value right so we'll uh, explain you with an example so let us open the r studio and let us clear everything which is appeared earlier and then we'll execute the things okay so yes so let us let us clear all the logs that means the previous outputs now you can see absolute so print absolute of minus 10 so if you execute this one we'll get the absolute value value of that particular minus 10 that is a 10 right so absolute and the second one is a square root function square root of variable and it gives it will work for a positive value and a negative value so if it is a positive value then it will return square root of given variable square root of given variable and if the value is negative value negative value then it will return or it will treat the variable as nan that means a not a number not a number so square root function should take always a positive value not a negative value and see you can observe here so the second thing print sqrt the function name sqrt and here you need to give the value so i'll give some 16 and execute see you got a 4 as an output and if it is a minus 16 that means if the variable is a minus negative value it gives a nan so see n a n not a number okay it will it doesn't consider it as a number okay so square root works with the positive value and negative value it will give the square root only if it is a positive value and if it is a negative value it will return nan and the third one is a ceiling function ceiling function and here also we will take one variable as a parameter right so it will return it will return smallest integer smallest integer which is larger than given value which is larger than the given value right so whatever the value we are passing to the ceiling function so it will return the smallest integer which is larger than given value and simply we can say it as a round up function so we can call it as a round up round up function okay simply so let us check so ceiling function print ceiling i'll give some 10.1 so it will return the smallest integer which is greater than given value so 10.1 uh, what is the smallest integer greater than 10 that's nothing but 11 so okay sorry yes so 11 we got as, as 11 if it is a 10.1 or 10.9 we'll get 11 right so ceiling function what happens if you give the negative value check out so still we are getting the same thing so 10 
minus 10 is a greater number than minus 10.9 so we got a greater number okay so this is a third function and a fourth one is a floor function which is quite opposite to the ceiling function so it will return largest integer sorry sorry yes it will return largest integer which is smaller than given value smaller than given value okay and here we call it as a round down round down function so this is similar to round down floor floor function which is similar to round down function let us check so sorry and if you apply the same thing and give the floor function here and give 10.9 okay execute you will get the result as 10 because it returns the largest number which is less than the given number largest integer which is greater less than the given number okay 10.9 so round down so it will be 10 and if, even though if it is 10.1 it will return 10 itself okay and if it is minus 10.1 it will return minus 11 minus 11 okay so minus 11 will be the largest clear so hope you understood then the next one is a truncate function truncate trunk dot a trunk of variable so it returns the truncate value truncate value of given variable or given input okay so the decimal part will be truncated here so print the function trunk 10.5 or 10.4 we can go with so it will return 10 and if you go with the 10.6 again we'll get a 10 so the decimal part will be truncated only integer part will be returned okay even it is a 10.9 it will return 10 even it is a 10.1 it will return 10 right so that means it only returns the integer so the decimal part will be get truncated removed okay and then the sixth category or a sixth function is round function so round function will take a two arguments one is a variable or a value and the second one is how many digits we need to uh, round okay we need to round so this function it returns round value round value of given variable with a given digits with a given digits so the first the variable or a value will be rounded and according to the digits specified in the second parameter for example here you can take it as print let us take round function of 3.1234567 and see for example if you execute we'll get it as a 3 that means if it is the decimal point is equal and above 5 it will truncate to the next number so here three point after decimal we are having one so that's why we got a three okay if it is a 3.5 you'll get a four as a round function if you apply the round function you'll get a four so that means if the decimal point is less than five so that will be ignored the decimal part will be ignored and the integer part will be immediately displayed and if the decimal value is greater than or equal to five then the round function will be acting as a round up function okay round up function so here the second parameter we can take that is number of digits we need to round so digits is equal to 2 you can check 3.52 so here these are the two values 
and after 2 the value is 3 so which is less than 5 so this will be ignored and we will get 3.52 for example if it is 6 now it will be 3.53 3.53 so here we need to give the number of digits the value as well as the number of digits so the value will be rounded with respect to the number of digits given in the second parameter so that is the use of round function and the next one is a trigonometric functions trigonometric functions like sin x okay cos x similarly tan x so x can be the value so trigonometric functions trigonometric functions right so here you can check print sine of 0 which will return and you can see 0 sine of 90 we can see 0 0.89 sine of 45 we can see the value 0 0.8502 right similarly the sign can be replaced with cos and also tan so you can go with the cos 45 sorry c o s trigonometric function right 0 0.5 similarly print tan of 90 degrees which is minus 1.9 okay 90 90 is a value okay 90 is nothing but a value so doesn't consider it as a degrees don't consider it as a degrees it's a normal value okay and then these are all the trigonometric functions and the next one is a logarithmic it's a logarithmic that's also a natural logarithm that means simply log of variable or x so it is natural log logarithmic natural logarithm of given value that means base e base e so you can observe here print log of 2 so log of 2 means oh sorry log of 2 yeah log of 2 that means log 2 base e so that's why we call it as a natural logarithm we call it as a natural logarithm and the next one log 10 variable that means base 10 it is a logarithmic logarithm of given variable with base 10 okay so you can observe here print log 10 of 10 that means log 10 base 10 so log 10 base 10 which is nothing but 1 and if it is log 2 base 10 we'll get the result as 0 0.3010 okay so that's the difference in the above case it is a log with base e so that's a not normally we call it as a natural logarithm and this is a common logarithm so we need to specify the base okay we need to specify the base so that is base 10 and here we need we can also change the base value we can also change the base value so here you can write it as log base and a variable log base and variable so with a given base so here also i am writing a general case not a 10 base and the 10th last one is an exponential it returns the exponent of given variable so it will return exponent of given variable okay it gives an exponent so we can see here so print exponent of 1 which gives the exponent of 2.718282 right so these are the different built-in functions related to the mathematical form so in so we have seen absolute square root ceiling floor truncate round sine cos tan log log base and exponent
right so similarly we are also having a lot of functions related to strings and statistical formulas so that we will cover in our next session so let's stop here and if you are uh, uh, if you are having any doubts regarding these uh, mathematical functions feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much